Happy Winter's Day, everyone. Uh, as of this morning, I had a great video planned out for you guys to show what wonders hold for people who play the market during the holidays, taking advantage of uh, new items, recipes, events. And when I logged on, I was quite shocked at what I saw. And now, first, I have to give a shout out to uh, Final Fan uh, 321 because she sent me a message right as I was discovering this for myself. But it appears as though some of the recipes that we've been using the last couple of days have been disabled. And of course, I went to uh, Reddit afterwards to confirm such a story. And yes, it has been uh, the pristine snowflake recipes have been disabled. I'd like to show you the, the particular recipe. Um, apparently, at least according to Reddit, there's no official word on it. It was deemed an exploit because you could get more materials out of the item from salvaging it than what it took to create it, thus generating an endless Ecto machine. Now, personally, I never made any of those, or I made the couple um, just to discover them. But what I was making money off of is making the brilliant snowflakes themselves and selling those, um, capitalizing on the fact that there were people buying tons and tons of them in order to do what is now being called an exploit, which I think is kind of silly. But uh, you notice the the recipe is still here in-game. You could still make them. You can actually even still hit the craft button and it goes through all the motions, but it doesn't actually craft the item, which is unfortunate. This actually does tie into the original video I was going to make today, which is talking about uh, newer emerging markets. Um, there's a lot of facets of a new market, which is what just happened here with opening of this event that causes volatility. So this this particular opportunity, which we've had over these last couple of days to make this money, is is what I call uh, taking advantage of ignorant fools. You've heard it said that a fool and his money are soon parted, and these events do prove it. No, I'm not saying that people who play Guild Wars 2 are stupid, but rather that when something new, like Winter's Day, happens, people don't know what to expect. They are ignorant of the situation at hand, okay? When they look at the trading post and see that brilliant snowflakes are going for five gold each, they're happy to pay that amount. And that's actually what I was selling quite a few of them for. Um, why are they willing to pay so much? Or now, when it's down to 10, 15 silver, why are they equally happy to pay that much? Well, the reason is twofold. First off, markets are fair, or at least normally they are. The balance between the supply and demand, or in our case, the amount of time it takes to farm the item and the number of uses the item has, gives the item a fair price. While leveling, we become accustomed to the fact that we won't ever loot anything over a silver in value until at least level 10, and we probably won't see anything over, worth over a gold until we're near max level. This teaches us through repetition that we are justly rewarded, rewarded for whatever effort we place in the game. When a new item is released, the price can be just about anything, and people will not be surprised. The costume brawler items that, uh, that we get out of these bags can sell anywhere from a couple dozen copper to a gold, and other than being a little surprised or disappointed, nobody really bats an eye when buying or selling the item. The second reason is that people usually view the market as a two-dimensional object. They see what the price is today, right now. They see all the buy and sell listings, but that's it. They don't take into account the reason why Brilliant Snowflakes cost five gold is because somebody just came through a bottle of snowflakes for 80 silver and reposted them, or the fact that it's now 10 or 15 silver because ArenaNet just closed out the, uh, the recipe. In economic terms, this is what we call price volatility, as the item is just starting to be supplied on the market, and people are just now finding out about the item, the price continually goes up and down. A savvy player will realize this and quickly take advantage of the situation. When the market is flooded with the item, you can buy it up and reset the price much higher. Sure, you'll be undercut and you might not sell at all, but the extreme volatility will mean that you only have to sell a small portion of what you post in order to make back what you paid for the item. Watch for these new re newly released items, especially event items. The more rare the item, the better. 
Be aware that event items are the most volatile at the start of the event and slowly stabilize and continue to lower over the course of the event. And when you hit just you hit the market just right, you might be the one who turns 50 gold into 750 gold overnight. Unfortunately, you can also be the player left holding the bag when it reading it hot fixes the game and removes the recipe. If you're the one, if you're the one left with a few dozen or a few hundred snowflakes in your inventory, well, all I can say is happy holidays. I'll see you next time.